slime, slime. No, no, I point it the other way. What's up guys? So did you know that we are nearing the 35th anniversary of one of the most important films of all time? Yeah, E.T. E.T. is turning 35 years old this year. And in celebration of that, I wanted to review some, you know, E.T.-esque movies. There's a ton of ripoffs out there, such as The Obvious Mac and Me, The Pod People, as well as this really weird one from Turkey. Anyway, those have been reviewed plenty, but what about a gnome named Norm? Okay, maybe this one isn't technically an E.T. ripoff, but it is one of those sidekick creature movies and it has a few scenes channeling a bit of E.T. So, what is a gnome named Norm? Well, it's about a gnome and his name is Gnorm. Yeah, that's actually how he pronounces it. What are you? Gnome. A gnome. And can you grant wishes, Gnome? No, can you? Wise ass, huh? All right, so you're a gnome. What's your name, gnome? Gnorm. So Norm lives beneath the earth in an underground world and he digs his way up to the surface to regenerate his lumen crystal so his world has power. He then gets caught up in a police sting operation with Casey who's played by Michael Anthony Hall. And Casey, well he's not exactly your typical professional cop. Hold this. All right, look, Mr. Potato Head is with you tonight. I don't care what he says, you make sure he wears his hat, all right? When Casey finds Norm's lumen pouch, they fight endlessly and eventually Anthony comes to terms to help Norm retrieve the lumen when he gets stolen from the bad guy boss, Zadar. So, how is this movie like E.T.? Well, he's short and ugly like E.T., but I guess he actually looks more like Splinter. And there's a couple scenes that are so obviously reminiscent. Or remember this scene? <laughs> A Gnome Named Norm was actually directed by the legendary special effects creator Stan Winston. Winston, who's known for his effects work on the Terminator series, Jurassic Park, and Aliens. Stan Winston actually made this film after his directorial debut of the horror classic Pumpkinhead. And according to IMDb, A Gnome Named Norm was filmed in 1988, received a limited release in 1990, but then pulled from circulation and re-released in 1992. Hmm, geez, I wonder why. Give me Lumen. Look, you want it, you tell me what happened here last night. Kaboom. And you know, as ugly as Norm is, it's clear that Stan had a hand in creating this character because he actually looks really good, even this many years later in high def. Don't be fooled by the creature sidekick style of a movie though, this isn't necessarily a kid's movie. It's a bit more violent with plenty of innuendos to go around. Reggie! I don't know what the hell kind of game you're trying to play here, but I'm much too tired for this. Call me when you get your act together. Puka, nice roundy. Shut up. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Giant popos. <gasps> Eventually, we find out Norm lied to Casey about why he came to the surface of the Earth. He actually came to steal the crystal to impress a female gnome he had a crush on. The rest of the movie is basically full of getaways, chase scenes, and fight scenes to get the crystal. It's not a terrible movie, but you have to enjoy B-movie cheese to get a kick out of it. <laughs> Also, keep an eye out for continuity errors, such as the scene where Norm looks like Paddington Bear, then moments later his rain outfit's gone. And now, thanks to high def transfers, we can see clearly in the scene where Norm gets lunged across the room, and if I pause right before the cut, you can see Norm's arm disconnected from his body. Another huge director mess up, oh this is great, is a scene where Casey locks up one of the bad guys behind an outdoor cage. And he puts the handcuffs around a random bar, not the actual hole where the lock goes. All in all, A Gnome Named Norm is a fun flick and runs at a smooth 84 minutes. And if that wasn't enough to win you over, how about some interspecies gnome on human action? Excuse me, I was just looking for Stan. I said hey. Ooh. A 
Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you're into new movies, please check out my movie podcast I co-host, the Can't Stop Watching Movies podcast. Find us on any podcast app or at can'tstopwatchingmovies.com. There's something here I gotta show you. <laughs> it's this, this thing. This little hairy thing. I don't know what to do with it. I'm sure you'll think of something, Casey.